Okay, so the first thing is introduction to DBMS. Okay, so DBMS. DBMS is database management system. So D come from here, B come from here, M come from here, and S come from here. So this is how the word DBMS comes into picture. Now, before learning, before going to the technical terms, let's understand it with the help of an analogy. Okay. So let's take an example of e-commerce website because we all love shopping, right? So let's take an example of Amazon. Okay. So in Amazon, uh, say you want to purchase a men's t-shirt. Now, what you'll do? You will first go to men's section. And in men's section, you have different, different categories, right? A category of uh, t-shirts, shirts, pants, trousers, right? And in that, uh, all the categories, you will click on to t-shirt category. Then in t-shirts, you will see all the t-shirts out there, right? Now, now the thing is the t-shirt that you actually see after going from men's section to the t-shirt section to actually the t-shirts. So the actual t-shirt is your data. So data is the actual information, the thing that you want. What you want? You want t-shirt. So t-shirt is your data. Now what is database? So you don't have just one t-shirt. You have collection of t-shirts. You don't have just one pant. You have collection of pants, right? So you have collection of t-shirts, collection of pants, trousers, right? So the collection of data is called database. Now, let's suppose now Amazon wants to add one new t-shirt. So what Amazon do? It first go to men's section, then in t-shirt section, then add the required t-shirt. Likewise, to delete a t-shirt, follow the following steps, right? Now, so there are enormous amount of data that you collected. So who will manage all this? How to add, how to delete, how to do any kind of operation in that database? There should be someone to monitor, to manage all this, right? To store all this. So that is database management system. It is that software that stores and manages your database. Okay. So I hope you get a little glimpse of what is data, what is database, and what is database management system. Now, now let's understand it in technical terms. Okay. So the most fundamental word here is data. The most fundamental word here is data. So if I ask you, what is data? How will you define data? So data is nothing but information about different things. Information about different things. So like let's take an example of scalar codings. So scalar wants what information? Scalar wants information of students. Students who are watching the YouTube channel. Students who are enrolling in the course. Instructors, the mentors there, the TA there. Right? So Scalar wants that information. So that information is data for Scalar. Right? So data is nothing but information about anything and everything is called data. So information on anything is called data. Now, the second thing is, okay, we understand data. Now, what is database? What is database? Database is collection of data. Now, if you have Scalar wants information of students also, TA also, instructors also, so all this data, the collection of all this data is called database. Now, answer this question. Okay, look at this Scalar database. It has information about students, their FB profile, and their Twitter tweets. Do you think this is considered a database? No. This is not a database because this is not a relevant or related information. Now, see this. This is another example. It has information about students, instructors, and mentors. This is considered a database. Why? Now, database is collection of 
collection of not the data database is the collection of related data so you can't say like you have a data you have a collection of irrelevant or non related data okay so now the significance importance of related word is clear right database is the collection of related data you can't add uh, let's again go to the amazon example so in amazon a uh, skirt section is not there in men's collection right because it's not relevant it's not related to men's clothing right so database is collection of related data the data that are related to each other in some way or the other okay so data is information about different things database is collection of related data now now the thing is what is dbms so dbms is it's the way to store manage or query the data so it's the way to store manage or query the data now let's club all these three things together so let's see scalar wants scalar has the information about students right so students is the data for scalar now scalar also want information about instructors about mentors right so the scalar the students the instructors the mentors are the data now the collection of all this is called database right so the collection of students the collection of instructors the collection of mentors is the database for scalar now now you have collected this enormous amount of data you have collected so much data now who will manage this now if you mug up so much things you tend to forget or uh, things right so what you do you make notes right similarly there is someone to monitor to manage the things it has to be stored in an organized in a defined manner right you can't store skirts in men section in amazon example you can't store skirts or tops in men section right similarly there is someone to store to manage to query to do all the operations in the database smoothly so that is database management system who manages who controls who helps to do all the operations in the database smoothly okay so the database is database is the software that enables to do that enables to do all the operations like searching querying deleting adding all the operations on database smoothly okay so what is dbms now dbms it's a software it's the way to store to manage or to query our data so i hope these three things are clear now what is data database and the database management system the management system that manages our complete database